What's up, everybody? Welcome back to my fight series. That's what I'm calling it. That's that's what I've dubbed it, right? Is what I talk about. You know, just fights that I really enjoy in anime and manga. And I've been wanting to talk about Kenpachi versus Unohana for a long time, but I wanted to wait for the anime to come out. And oh my God, did it blow me away? I loved every single bit, every single fucking bit of this fight, man. Kenpachi versus Unohana is my favorite fight in manga and one of my favorite fights in anime right i love this fight two pieces man there's not been a single fight that i've read in a manga that has come close to kenpachi versus unahana ever right and they delivered in the anime too and it was it was perfect i love it man i love it man but i i really want to get into like the little finite details of this fight because the characterization of kenpachi and and, and and Unahana was great. I fucking loved it, man. So, with, but without further ado, let's just let's get into it, man. To start off, I want to talk about Kenpachi and Unahana se separately before I get into the fight, right? But first of all, I'm going to talk about Kenpachi, right? We we all know who Kenpachi is, right? The the rawest nigga in this series. He's even raw with, when he loses, right? Kenpachi is just that guy. Nigga, nigga purposely, purposely puts a nerfing eye patch on him because he likes good fights. He, walk, he walked around with bells on his hair so niggas knew when he was coming. Kenpachi does not have a Shikai or a Bankai. Nigga just using a regular ass Zompak Cho that he fucking found, right? Kenpachi is that guy. The fight with Ichigo, the fight with Noitora, one shot of that one execution nigga with the time. I forget his name. I think it's like Gen something, but that's not important, right? Kenpachi was the first per person on Soul Society side to beat Stern River. It wasn't one, it wasn't two, he killed three Stern River. He was the first nigga on the Soul Society side, the Soul River side, to kill a Quincy. He was, he was. No one else did it first, it was Kenpachi. Kenpachi did it first, right? So, Kenpachi, as we all know, is a fighting demon. He loves to fight. He explains this a lot. There's even a panel in the manga where he says, man, this shit's getting me hard, right? We, Kenpachi likes to fight, right? He had, he, he likes to fight. That's who he is. That's who he is. That's who he's always been. He likes good fights. That's why he likes to make himself weak. He really doesn't fucking kill people because he likes to fight, right? If he finds someone that he likes to fight a lot, you're like, yeah, I'm gonna keep, I'm gonna keep your ass alive, bitch. Keep your keep your ass alive so we can so we can do this again. But now I want to talk about Unahana, right? Unahana, she was in the previous Ghost Day 13. She was known to be the most dangerous criminal out of that group of criminals, right? That's what the original Ghost Day 13 was. It's just a bunch of fucking criminals, and Yamamoto just gave them captain's cloaks and said, "Hey, go fucking nuts," right? But Unahana was known to be the most dangerous one out of the bunch right now for what happened 1000 years ago to what happened to where she is now we don't know i will we kind of know what we were with the uh, whole unahana kipaki flashback but other than that we don't know why she is just why she just decided hey, i'm gonna stick on the sidelines and heal now but that's what she wants to do and that's what she's done probably yamamoto yamamoto probably told her to you know just you know relax so Unahana, throughout the entire series, right, the beginning of Bleach to, to to where she ended up now, right, she has been heralded as the healing captain. That's what she does. She's a healer. And she's always had, like, this mystique to her, this mystery, right? She's always, like, been kind of bathed in a dark light sometimes, right? And it's just like, she, she, she's just like, I don't know, man. It's just like, she seemed like one of those niggas that you just don't want to fuck with. Like at all ever and that's why aizen planned it because aizen knows who the fuck unahana was he did not want those fucking problems right that's why he had unahana Byakuya, kimpachi uh mayu and mayuri in in a fucking hoikamundo because if there was because if there was that fake car core this nigga's plans would not have gone the way he wanted them to right so that's why unahana was there because he he knows unahana's about that fucking action he knows he knows Unahana probably would have to uh, team up probably would have went crazy right so it, it revealed that Unahana was the first Kenpachi uh we were all like what the first Kenpachi right and as we know prior Kenpachi is a title handed down from Kenpachi to Kenpachi and the way you get it is you, you either beat them in combat or kill them and Unahana being the first 
you know, Kim Pachi, you know, she she got to she got to have some of that empathy in her, right? And she does, right? And throughout the throughout the like episode six, episode six through ten, we get kind of these hints that Unahana has been doing, has, like should be doing something more, right? With uh, the nigga that helped heal Ichigo in the hot springs, she's like, you shouldn't be focusing on healing right now, right? And he saw like, hey, we should have went out there and did some work for real. Like, like she's been she's been getting more light and more light and more light. And then she was, we finally revealed that, hey, you're you're the first Kimpachi. You should train Kimpachi. Right? So the the setup of the fight is Soul Society got dicked down by the Quincy's and Shoots became head uh head captain. He he goes straight to work. He goes straight to work. He goes up to Shoots 46. He's like, I'm gonna teach. I'm gonna teach Kenpachi how to kill, right? The the art is on YouTube. The art on how to kill, and the only person who was well equipped well equipped enough for this task is the first Kenpachi, who has fought Kenpachi before before all of this, right? So they, that that's how the fight gets set up, right? We get revealed that when I was the first Kenpachi, they go to the one of the lowest one of the lower levels of Mukin. That's an infinite space, so. That you know they they just have enough space that they need to fuck shit up, and that's what they do, right? The fight starts, and Unahana is dogging Kimpachi, right? And it, it really makes me wonder, right? If it like like how how much would she have helped if if uh or how much would she have done against the Stern Rangers that are attacking the Soul Society? If Yamamoto didn't tell her to stay in her barracks and heal, like I, I, I'm wondering how many bodies she would have, how many the Soul Reaper, not Soul Reaper, how many Stern Reaper bodies she would have caught. Cause I, 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 I don't think I, I'm really thinking about it right. Who, 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 who would, who, who would have beaten? Nah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm not saying that she, she would have one shot everybody, but who would have beaten her? Like, like which, which Stern Reaper would she have faced? Or which, yeah, you know, just something like that, right? But the fight starts, Udahana is dogging Kenpachi, right? And Kenpachi thought he got stabbed in the neck, which he did, right? And Unahana, her goal is to train Kenpachi to get back to where he was. Kenpachi, when he was a child, yes, was is stronger than Kenpachi now, which is, which is fucking insane, right? Unahana says that her sin... Was that she was weaker than Kenpachi when they first fight, but <laughs> she was strong enough that Kenpachi was like, "Damn, you are a worthy rival." So now I'm going to lower myself. I'm going to make myself lose, right? Because he said fighting was born. Fighting was born for Kenpachi and Unahana, right? But when they finally cross, when they finally cross blades, it was just like, "Oh shit!" Like sparks flew, right? I've said this. I've said this before, right? But this, this this is truly like a fucking love story, right? I love I love all of this, right? If if Unahana was still alive, bro, Kimpachi and Kimpachi and Unahana would be going crazy somewhere right now. I just know it. I just know it, bro. No, feel it in my in my in my jimmies, right? But Unahana, she was gonna lose that fight. But Kimpachi was like, damn, this is like the 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 closest nigga that I've ever had a fight with. So now I'm going to lower myself, and he unintentionally put shackles on himself that made himself weak, weaker. He never used his full power in a fight because he likes to enjoy fights. He likes to be close on the edge, right? This nigga's a fucking crackhead for fights, and he he got a taste of what a fucking fun fight was like. Like I I don't ever want to lose. I don't ever, I don't ever want to not experience this when I fight. So now he purposely makes himself weaker when he fights. And Unahana's goal is, on after like reviewing and like like you seeing Kimpachi's other fights, like the fight with Ichigo, the fight with Oitora, the fight with fucking Yuha, she realizes that Kimpachi, like 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 subconsciously makes himself weaker, but only on the verge of death does he start to break those shackles. So, so Unahana's just like, if I kill this nigga over and over again. That should be better than on the verge of death, right? He should be breaking those shackles way faster, right? So that was her goal this fight. She was killing Kimpachi and healing him over and over and over again until he started to bring, to get back his 
the original strength. Then Jesus Christ was this so fucking cool. This was so raw. Then then Unahana whips out her fucking bankai and he's like, what the fuck? Ah. I, I, we, we, I don't know if we, I don't know if we as Bleach fans know what Unahana's Bankai does. I feel like we know what it does a bit more now in the anime because it was melting Kenpachi away. So it's like a domain expansion, but like you are going to fucking melt in, in this motherfucker. You're, you're going to die. Like the, she was melting Kenpachi to the bone, right? That was crazy, right? Unahana's Bankai is so fucking cool. I'm just so upset that we only got to see it once. Only got to see it once. And we don't get to see Unahana no more, which is crazy. Ah, but Unahana is, is, is and Unahana and Kenpachi are scrapping. Kenpachi is getting stronger as he, as he's dying and getting brought back to life. And then he realizes, right? He's like, damn. For the first time in my life, I realized what this is, man. This is, this is truly a battle. And then Kenpachi lands the final blow on, Ken, uh, on Unahana. And Unahana, like, you were the only man to ever, like, like fucking satisfy me. Like, nah, legit. And then we see Kenpachi cry. I don't like seeing Kenpachi cry, bro. Sad Kenpachi is worse Kenpachi. And then, now that these shackles are broken, he's finally, he's, just, he's finally able to hear from his fucking sword. Which is nuts. Which is nuts. And for the manga readers of, of, uh, of you know, of... Bleach, we, we know, we know what's coming next, right? Kenpachi's next fight, right? Which I might not wait, cause it's definitely not happening now. It's gonna happen in like core two or three. And I don't think I'm gonna wait a fucking year for that. So I'll probably just talk about that, talk about the fucking, that Kenpachi fight soon. But this fight with Ken, Kenpachi and Unahana is like one of my favorite ever. I'm, I'm so glad, man. Ken, Piero put their whole Pierre Ussy into this bitch animating it right. The storyboard and the animation, everything was fucking great. The music, everything was perfect. 10 out of fucking 10. This fight was good. Go read it. Go watch it. As a matter of fact, go read it and watch Bleach. I don't care if you have it. I don't care if you don't like it. Just read Bleach, man. It's one of the it's one of my favorite stories ever. But uh yeah, that's that's the video, man. If you liked, like, like comment subscribe do the good stuff and uh yeah and uh i'm i'm out of here bye